What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got some unfortunate news. You guys have been hitting me up on Instagram and Twitter wanting me to talk about this. Apparently, Jeff Hardy was arrested for uh, another DUI. And uh, it's not good, man. That's that's not something I, I definitely wanted to hear at all ever again, honestly, from Jeff. But we're going to go into uh, this article by TMZ Sports to see exactly what's going on and uh we're gonna talk about and discuss you know this you know i'm gonna get my thoughts and opinions on this whole situation so aew star jeff hardy arrested for dui cop says he had a 0.294 bac level according to the florida highway patrol hardy had a bac of 0.294 following his arrest early monday morning in police documents obtained by TMZ Sports, officers said that uh, officers said they pulled over Hardy after claiming he was driving a white uh, Dodge Charger erratically on Volusia County highways. In the documents, police say they received four separate calls regarding the Charger's poor driving pattern. Cops say when they finally caught up to the vehicle, it was traveling traveling significantly under the speed limit weaving across travel lanes and running off the shoulder of the roadway jeez jeff cops say during the stop the 44 year old wrestler appeared to be in a stupor and confused officers say when they finally got hardy out uh out of his vehicle he reeked the booze and during the field sobriety test displayed multiple signs of being impaired they arrested him on the scene and say when they took him back to the station two of his breath samples yielded bac readings of 0.294 and 0.291 the legal limit in florida is 0.08 cops also noted in the docs Hardy's license was suspended following his two previous convictions for driving under the under the influence. They also noted he had a driving restriction which required him to have an interlock device in uh in his vehicle, which they said his charger did not have. Oh man. AEW star Jeff Hardy has been arrested again. TMZ Sports were confirmed. Jail records show he was booked in Valisa of uh, Valisa County. Florida on Monday morning and took a mugshot. Details surrounding the specific allegations against Hardy are unclear, but the court records show he's been charged with felony DUI, misdemeanor violating restrictions placed on driver's license, as well as misdemeanor driving while license canceled, suspended, or revoked. The records show he's due in court Tuesday for a hearing on the matter. It's the third time since 2018 that Hardy has been accused of driving while under the influence. In March 2018, he was charged with the uh, DWI in North Carolina after getting into a car wreck. He was arrested again for a DWI uh, in North Carolina on October in October 2019. In the months following the 2019 arrest, Hardy admitted he had a problem with substance abuse on the after the bell podcast with Corey graves saying on the show that he was receiving professional help hardy was slated to wrestle with his brother matt hardy on aew dynamite later this week it's unclear if that match will still go on story is still developing yeah man um this is this is not good bro like this is i don't i don't even know what to say as a fan of jeff man I, I don't how many times must this keep happening and god forbid if he gets behind the wheel again decides you know to have a little bit too much to drink and he ends up hitting somebody or somebody ends up hitting him and that person ends up you know potentially getting hurt or killed or he ends up getting hurt or killed like yo you gotta chill i don't, I don't know what's going on with him but this is this is not acceptable. I know you guys were talking to us on uh, uh, on the, in our chat while we were streaming earlier today on Twitch, and y'all were just saying how disappointed y'all are. And you know what? I'm in agreement. I'm very disappointed in Jeff, bro. Like this this isn't good for anybody. This is not good for AEW, like the company, like 
Obviously, he's going to be taking off the show for this week. They have to make, they have to change plans. This is not good for, you know, his family, for himself. Like, this sucks, bro. Like, come on, Jeff. I don't know what to do. I, 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 I have no idea what to do, man. This is... This is truly ridiculous, bro. Like I'm, 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 I'm I don't even know what to say. I, I'm literally lost for words in the sense of you would think someone would have learned their lessons not once, not twice. You know what I'm saying? Like him saying he needs to get help, him getting that help, and like okay, he's he's on the right path, and then this messed up. And I know some people about like, oh, don't be too hard on him, but there's only so many times you can be like, okay, something has to give. There's only so many times you can be under the influence while driving a vehicle. I'm not a big fan of that. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been in situations where I've been a little bit too lit to drive. And I, those are not my proudest moments. And I don't do those type of actions anymore. If I'm that messed up, I would just ride with someone and catch an Uber, bro. And that's the best thing you can do. Ride with somebody else or catch an Uber. Do not be caught in situations like this yeah he was driving well under the speed limit but that he obviously wasn't aware of what he was doing i don't know man I, i'm very disappointed in jeff bro this is this is this is a uh an, a, a news headline i was not wanting to see or hear and of course tmz reported it so people who don't really follow jeff like that they're like, damn, like they remember loosely, oh, damn, he got caught with another, you know, DUI or, you know, DWI. Like, what's, what's going on? Like, what's going on with Jeff? People may not even realize, you know, he was trying to get better. And we're thinking he was getting better. And I don't know, man. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what you do here. What, what maybe... To be honest with you, maybe doing the wrestling stuff right now, maybe he, he does need to hang it up and literally just focus on getting himself together mentally and physically and, you know, getting into rehab and them actually, you know, trying to help him is, you know, I'm sure they, they have been in the past, but that may need to be his main focus, not wrestling no more. I'm just, I'm just being seriously honest here. I want him to wrestle because that's something he loves to do. But if this keeps happening, maybe his primary focus is to get this drinking under control, or at least to the point where you're not doing this. We may have to go uh, cold turkey and go sober here because this ain't it. What what What's happening here? I, I God forbid I hear another another incident where he gets you know arrested or he ends up getting hurt or someone else gets hurt because of his actions. This is it's not good, man. It's not good at all. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think should be the next step. Should uh should he take a break from wrestling and really truly focus on getting some help? You know, like, what do you guys think should happen here, man? I would like to get your thoughts and opinions on this. Um, I'm just wishing he he get it together, bro, because this is this is not good. And I don't know how lenient they the judge will be because this will be his third offense dealing with driving a vehicle and intoxicated. This, this will be his third offense. So I don't know if the judge will be lenient. He may get some jail time here. So I don't know. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys think should happen. Appreciate all love and support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next week. Peace.